They don't give you a very good description of what the archery expert minigame is when you go into the guild area. But lucky for you, you got me. So I'm going to tell you all the tips and tricks I know to get the most out of the archery expert minigame. What is up, Pistol Nation? Merry motherfucking Christmas. We are going to go over the archery expert minigame inside Era of Chaos, the guild area. So once you unlock the guild, right here, guild, there's tons of different things. But we're going to focus today's video on the archery expert. So we're going to click on archery expert. And it's this really fun minigame. But there's no information about it at all the game doesn't tell you anything about it it doesn't tell you what to do it doesn't give you any tips it tells you nothing so i'm gonna tell you everything i have learned from this so first off what is the basic idea of this what are you doing so you have these arrows and you're basically shooting these creatures monsters these are the monsters in the game you're shooting them with the arrows and you're trying to damage and kill them so that they drop their little treasure chests. Now, I'm going to have to close off my webcam real quick so you can see this. And let me lower this music just one little notch. So as you can see in this bottom left corner where my webcam is, there's three different chests. There's this gold one, the silver one, and the bronze one. They all say zeros because that's how many I don't have right now. If I kill one of these monsters right now and it drops a chest the number will change so it'll say i have one of these gold chests one of these silver chests or one bronze chest and then i click on it and i can open it up now let me bring myself back so what you do is you basically just tap on your screen and it, you will launch an arrow at one of the creatures and it goes exactly where you put it so if i click right here i got a headshot now you want to aim it you want to aim it ahead of time. Like if I click right on there now, it's not going to reach because they're moving. So you got to kind of aim ahead of the target to get the most out of it. Now, if we go to the top left right here, it says 120. This is how many arrows I have total to shoot. If you click on this, you can purchase some, but you need to be VIP 5 in order to be able to purchase more arrows for 50 gems. Now, if we go to right here, it says give arrows and it says 1. So every day, a certain amount of times, you, so you will be able to donate some arrows to your teammates, your guildmates, and you will also be able to claim too. So you can specifically give them to a certain person in your guild, or you can just give them randomly. I usually just give them randomly, and I'll click this, and there you go, and it just says who it sent it to, and you just give them some, some arrows. Also, you're gonna wanna go over here to where it says supply, Right now it has a countdown because I already collected mine. So I have to wait 21 hours, 37 minutes, 55 seconds before I can supply again. So 24 hours, once every 24 hours, you can get some more arrows. Now if you go over to stats, the stats will show you your stats of overall how you've done every time you play this little mini game. It says your hit rate, your headshot rate, your uh, all the different creatures you've attacked, how many times you've hit them, the bone dragon I hit 11 times, the imp this many times. And if you go over here to stats, it will show the guild. It'll show my rank among my guild members. So right now, King Green has the most score, the highest score, and it goes so on and so forth. Here I am, number four, and it goes down. Now if you go to your friends, it's the same thing. It'll show your friends and who is the best on your friends list. Now, let's go down here to the bottom where he shows one little arrow. If you click this plus sign, it will increase to two arrows. If you click it again, it'll increase to three arrows. Three arrows is the most you can do. Now, what this does is this will actually shoot three arrows at one time. So I have 122 arrows, you see. I have three selected. So now watch, I'm gonna click it once. Now watch what happens. It only shows one shot animation. It only shows one arrow going, but it used three of my arrows. Now, if we go down two, one, now watch when I use one. Now, if you look, you can see that the arrow that was being shot is actually different. A one shot arrow shows up as, as you can see, it's like brown. 
two shot arrows show up as silver three shot arrows show up as like a purple gold what i highly suggest you do is don't really focus on taking these guys out if you look at the bottom right corner you will see summon boss three of three this is meaning i can summon the boss three times right now this is the best way to get the most value out of this mini game shooting these guys you kind of waste too many when you take down the the boss you get a lot now let's go to the boss i'm going to summon the boss now what happens is the uh little octopus comes up and he's got his little tentacles we have a countdown and this is his health well he moves a lot so it can be hard here's a here's a quick hack and trick the best way to take him down is shoot right here this bottom right corner you will never miss and you're just going to keep going like this oh that time i missed and you're just going to shoot really like, i try and aim for this little one because you almost always hit this and I also suggest that you only shoot one arrow at a time instead of three. Because if you do miss with three arrows, you're you're like if I would have used three arrows right there, I would have just wasted three arrows. So I suggest you just use one. There is no damage difference. If you use one arrow or three arrows, there's no damage difference. It's just basically me clicking it three times or me clicking it one time. So it doesn't give you a bonus. So I'll just use one and just like smack the hell out of him at the bottom. Now, once the head appears, I just, I just spam the eye, spam the eye like crazy. And there you go. Now you, I just got 20 golden archery chests. Now, if we look here, let me uh, remove myself again real quick. Uh, here you can see at the bottom left corner, I have 20 chests now, which is great. And after you kill the boss, you'll actually see this see this crazy like glowing thing. This thing looks insane, right? Well, guess what this does? Once you click this, this will give you an unlimited shot. So I'm going to click this and you just go crazy. This is when you want to take all these extra guys down. You just go crazy with it. It's unlimited. It's it's being timed at the bottom right. You see it running out. That it's running out. It's running out. You want to just put as much damage and it's gone so see how that bottom part right here it was fully charged it it slowly goes down over time so you want to click it as much as you can so now look i got all these extra chests at the bottom how many arrows does it take to kill the boss so let's see right now i have 59 you can get away with i want to say around 55 it depends I honestly wouldn't summon the boss unless you have at least 60 just to be careful in case you miss one or two I always like to play it more safe than uh, you know than going crazy so I always like to make sure I have at least like 60 65 70 just so I know I'm gonna kill it because there's nothing worse than wasting like 45 arrows and having one little tiny smidge of health left and there's nothing you can do about it I can't tell you how many times that happened to me when I first started playing this game it happened at least twice where I summoned the boss and I was trying to kill him and I left him with just a little tiny health and I ran out of arrows. I literally needed like maybe one or two more arrows and I would have killed him. So it sucks. So let's see right here. We use, okay, we use what? 59 arrows and we had seven left. So you can relatively say 52. But again, to be safe, I would say only summon the boss if you have 55 or higher. Uh, 55 or higher in the arrows. So I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little tip video. Please pistol whip that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and help support the channel. It really appreciate. I really appreciate it. Uh, share this video with other members in your guild. If you got discords or whatever, share this video. Help other people out, newcomers. And I will see y'all in the next video. We got more Era of Chaos videos coming. So I will see y'all later. Peace.